Big Baby Jared Anderson makes a potentially fatal mistake after defeating Redenko over the weekend. Now some of you are going to say what are you talking about what fatal mistake now let me explain. He went on to call out Frank Sanchez. Now Frank Sanchez isn't the guy in there and he's not going to murder him. He's not going to kill him. He's not going to take his life. I'm not talking about that. But I'm talking about in terms of Jared Anderson's career and where he wants to go. Now Jared Anderson wants to get to the top of boxing and he wants to make as much money as possible. So you'd think if he knew what he was doing, the last thing he'd want to do is call out Frank Sanchez for two reasons. First and foremost, Frank Sanchez isn't really a big payday or even a big name in the grand scheme of things. And secondly, there's a very good chance that Frank Sanchez beats Jared Anderson pretty convincingly and effectively kills the hype train, hence the fatally comment. Now, Jared Anderson wants to go in another direction in reality. I mean, he's saying... Frank Sanchez, I believe he's saying that out of being a bit naive and young and not really knowing what he's talking about. But from where I'm sitting, if he goes Frank Sanchez, that's going to be a career killer because he's got a bit of momentum now. He's got like, I don't even know what it is, with 19 kills in 20 fights or something along those lines. He's got a bit of momentum. I don't think anyone in Jared Anderson's team is going to want Jared Anderson to fight someone like a Frank Sanchez. And let's be real here, that's not limited to Jared Anderson. I'm not saying that because Jared Anderson's got limited experience and he's not quite good enough to beat a Frank Sanchez and he shouldn't be talking about Frank Sanchez. Listen, people from Tyson Fury's team wouldn't want him to go in there with Frank Sanchez. People from U6's team wouldn't want the same. Same Joshua, even Deontay Wild, I won't care who it is. No one's going to want to say, let me put my fighter in there with Frank Sanchez. So the fact that Jared Anderson is actually calling him out is actually commendable. I do respect it. But I do think he's doing it out of like the young naivety rather than logic and thinking about it and knowing what's going to come as a result, if you know what I mean. And also remember that Frank Sanchez, he basically schooled F.A. Ajagba for the duration of the fight without even breaking into a sweat. And F.A. Ajagba is pretty much, if I'm not mistaken, top ranks best heavyweight. So if he'd done that to their best heavyweight, what's he going to do to their up and coming prospect? Frank Sanchez, they don't want that work. I'll tell you what I think is going to happen though, realistically. I think that Aram and that know better than to approach Frank Sanchez for that fight. I think if they were to approach him for the fight or approach Showtime or PBC or whoever to try and make that fight, as long as the price was right, I think it would be considered. Because Frank Sanchez, let's be honest, he's got to be, what, number four, number three heavyweight wise for the PBC. So they're probably not thinking too highly of him or put too much value on him so they would let him go to another network if the price was right in my opinion that being said i don't believe that top rank will want that for jared anderson you got to remember that i don't know how much they're investing in him or how much they've put into him already or whatever but they're probably not making too much money of him at the moment and they're trying to build him so they want to milk his purses they want to milk his big paydays or semi big day paydays or they want to build him into a position where he actually gets the big paydays and in order to get there in the first place you got to basically avoid guys like frank sanchez or fight them and go through them but I don't think anyone in team Anderson believes that he's going to beat Frank Sanchez so what they'll probably do in my opinion is what I think they've been setting up anyway uh, or trying to set up anyway is get FA Ajagba in there with Jared Anderson and the reason why I say they're looking to set that up for it's basically two reasons first and foremost they were on the same card the other night and normally when that happens that the promoters are trying to get the people familiar with both fighters you know if you know what I mean so if they're on the same card then it's gonna be fresh on people's memories so next time if they put them both on the same card as the the headline it's got more chance of people watching it because they know who the guys are that's basically it and plus it's an in-house fight so what that basically means is the away fighter is your fighter anyway so that 10 percent that would normally go to the away fighters promoter stays in the circle here and it stays for the promoter that's putting the fight on so top rank would basically make more money if they were to keep it in-house rather than have frank sanchez come in and let pbc get their 10 percent or whatever it is they get if you know what i mean but i don't actually think it's that deep on these sort of lower levels where the money isn't that high then 10 percent so obviously they're worth a lot regardless but if it was a multi-million dollar fight it's gonna be worth a lot more let's put it that way so considering the level they may not be too bothered about that but ultimately i don't even think it's gonna be about that i think it's gonna be about the fact that they have a path that they want to take jared anderson down and right now frank sanchez probably doesn't really fit into their vision of of how they're going to get jared anderson to the promised lands whether that be make him a pay-per-view star whether that be make him a heavyweight champion or just make him a semi big name because right now he's not really either he's sort of stuck in no man's land and he's looking to target one of the hardest guys in the division i can't see that that makes sense i can't see how top rank will run with it but if they do it'll be a hell of a fight and i'll tune in i'm not saying that 
Jared Anderson has no chance in that fight. That's disrespectful. Like he's definitely got a chance. It's more than a puncher's chance. He's actually a semi-decent boxer. He's just got a horrible defense. And that horrible defense is going to be his undoing in that fight, in my opinion. So I'll make Frank Sanchez a heavy favorite should the fight get made. I think that there's too many holes in Jared Anderson's defense. And someone as skilled as Frank Sanchez will be in a position to capitalize on every single mistake, every single time. That's all I got for this one, guys. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe, or don't. And I'll catch you on the next one. Love.